You can't argue with results. And the simple fact of the matter is, BPM works, and not only does it work, it can save you hundreds of thousands of pounds. Recently, a Gartner research note stated that 80% of organizations conducting business process management projects will experience an internal rate of return better than 15%. Of the 20 companies who responded to this survey, 55% had returns in the $100,000 to $500,000 range per BPM project. Return on investment in a BPM project can arise in two ways, directly and indirectly. Direct ROI is reasonably straightforward to calculate, but still requires a judgment to be made on what can be directly attributed to a BPM project. Indirect is much harder to quantify. This means that the ROI on BPM projects often just isn't quantified. This is a real shame, as Gartner reported the returns are pretty darn good. To calculate the direct ROI on any given BPM project, the cost of the project is compared with any cost savings made or increases in profit. Firstly, the cost of the project needs to be calculated. This is pretty straightforward. It includes the external costs for the BPM software system, both initially and ongoing, and the costs of external consultancy and training services purchased to support the project. It also includes the cost of any internal resource used on the project. This will mostly be the time people need to spend on the project, not only those in the BPM or process improvement teams, but the time of subject matter experts and anyone else connected with the project. Calculating the cost of time requires a judgement to be made on how a given employee's time is costed. Most organisations have already agreed hourly charging rates for different bands of employees, taking into account gross salary and an overhead charge. Now if yours hasn't done this, don't make it too complicated. Just calculate three cost bands for junior, senior and middle salaried employees based on average gross salary and a sensible overhead charge for each band. Calculating direct cost savings and increases in profit is usually straightforward. A difficulty that sometimes arises, however, is figuring out how much is attributable to a BPM project rather than other factors. If, say, you've used your BPM system to support your bid processes, you will be able to attribute an increase in profit to BPM. How much is really a judgment call? Let's use one of our customers as an example. Taking a BPM approach and using the Triasta platform, InterServe have developed a mobilization tool specifically to ensure that new business can be won and delivered to a reliable margin whilst also delivering a better service to InterServe's customers. Now for InterServe, calculating the increased profits can be linked to BPM is a matter of calculating the positive impact of their mobilization tool on cost containment and the time taken to mobilize. Other Triaster customers have set up specific bid BPM systems to support large tenders. These demonstrate most effectively that they have the processes in place to support their bids and ensure that their big BPM systems are ready to go as soon as they win the projects. This is particularly key for joint ventures. Which is exactly what Balfour Beatty found when they were awarded a £414 million contract by Board Gaze Networks in the Republic of Ireland in a joint venture with CLG Developments Limited. Calculating the ROI here was a matter of deciding how much of the profit from this project was attributable to their bid BPM system. When it comes to direct 
debt cost reductions. This is usually in the form of all debt costs. Since 2012, Scansa UK has saved 40k uh, in annual audit fees for their ISO assessment. This is an easy ROI to calculate. Then we come to the BPM system's bread and butter, driving efficiency. Every time a process is improved to cut out a wasteful step, costs are saved. Every time duplication is removed from a process, costs are saved. This is the value of a BPM system. The ROI here can be quite difficult to calculate, however, unless your BPM system enables you to capture and report on time, effort, resources, etc. One cost saving that is very difficult to calculate, but which is likely to add up to many hundreds of thousands of pounds for large organisations, is the cost saving every time an employee is able to quickly and efficiently find documentation or how to do something just by going to the BPM system. This is where little things can become big things over time. It's worth at least trying to make an assessment on this based on say every employee saving 15 minutes time a day. See how much that adds up to cost savings over a year. Over five years, it makes you think, doesn't it? Reducing risk so that a quality failure is avoided and the reputation of the brand as protected could be priceless. Unfortunately, the cost of a quality failure is usually not measured unless a quality failure has already taken place. Once it has taken place though, the figures could make the head of a company want to cry. A BBC News report in December 2015 entitled Volkswagen The Scandal Explained stated that with VW recalling millions of cars world worldwide from early next year, it has set aside £4.8 billion pounds to cover costs. That resulted in the company posting its first quarterly loss for 15 years of 2.5 billion euros in late October. And that's unlikely to be the end of the matter. The EPA has the power to fine a company up to $37,500 for each vehicle that breaches standards, a maximum fine of about $18 billion. Achieving regulatory compliance with ISO, Sarbanes-Oxley, the FCA, HEFKE, or whoever regulates your industry sector obviously delivers a great deal of value, particularly if it is a statutory requirement. Even if it isn't, it will be a quality mark that your customers and potential customers will look out for. Again, this is one where the ROI is hardly ever calculated, but particularly if you're trying to get budget for a BPM project to support this. Make a rough calculation of what the results would be if key compliances aren't achieved next year. Make some assumptions, state these clearly and base your calculations on these. Just as with addressing risk and achieving regulatory compliance, quality improvements are usually classified by organisations as a cost. However, ROI can be calculated if you set out issues that might arise if quality is not improved or deteriorates. For example, inconsistent working in a customer services team will deliver an inconsistent quality of service, which can damage trust and ultimately lose customers. Try us to deliver a BPM system that captures and reports on a great deal of data that will help with calculating the ROI on many BPM projects. If you feel that you're missing out on potential ROI, and you're interested in finding out more about BPM and the benefits that it can have on your business, why not contact us? Or go to the blog section of our website where you'll see many articles explaining the benefits of buying a BPM system and if Triester is right for you. Well, 
Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video both informative and inspiring. See you next time. Thank you.